What's up everybody? Welcome to another review for GOS Snacking. And today I got you, I got me the limited edition mint chocolate Twinkies. And if you like reviews for limited edition and new snacks, candy, drinks, fast food, whatever, go ahead, subscribe, stick around. I drop a new video every Tuesday and every Friday. So you'll definitely wanna check those out. out but yeah other than that let's go ahead and get into it these limited edition mint chocolate twinkies i know i'm a little late i'm like sort of hella late because these are christmas limited edition themed twinkies but to be honest i'm not the biggest fan of twinkies but i was like chocolate chocolate is good and usually mint chocolate is a good combination so that's why i picked them up in the first place but I was hesitant to getting around to but yeah so that's why I'm a little more excited in terms of like trying these Twinkies than other ones because I tried the pumpkin spice Twinkies and I was like uh almost never again when it comes to Twinkies and so that's why I was put off but yeah other than that let's go ahead and look at the nutritional facts so two cakes or two Twinkies, in fact, it's 250 calories. And then you got three grams of protein, 29 grams of sugar, and 47 grams of carbohydrate. And enough of that, let's go ahead and butt these open. Yeah. Here's one Twinkie. Can I smell? No. I mean, you can sort of smell the chocolate, but that's about it. You know, generic packaging like always. Oh, the packaging on the box. You know, you saw, you know, a little mint leaf, the Twinkie itself, actual size. And then you got the little man here, the Twinkie in the Christmas outfit with the ornament. It says limited edition. But other than that, it's basically the same. So, go ahead, open this up, do a little smell. Yeah, it smells, you know, chocolate cake, chocolate cupcake. That's the smell you're getting when it comes to these. Um, I don't want to get my hands all chocolatey, so I'm going to keep it in the wrapper. So, yeah, I mean, not much else to I mean, you see the frosting, you know, that's coming out, the green frosting. But, yeah, let's go ahead and dry these out. Yeah, it's not that bad. You get, you know, depending on how big of a bite you get or whatever, depends on how much mint flavor you get. But the mint flavor isn't overpowering. You get more of that chocolate flavor in it. And it's not that bad. Of course, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the mixture or the ratio of cream to cake part that makes it not have the taste go over the top or like where I want it to be or like I'm just like ha have too much high expectations for Twinkies because it's like it's something about it where like I'm never satisfied in terms of flavor in terms of taste when it comes to Twinkies like it's definitely like you know the cake's not dry or anything like it's like the perfect moist moisture texture as you would say you know the the cream i think it's the cream they go a little too far on it but yeah in terms of this flavor though the mint is good the mint is there the let me take another taste yeah like the chocolate is there the mint is there and granted, I think it all depends on the flavor of the Twinkie itself. Like the pumpkin spice ones, like I said, I'm not even a fan of pumpkin or pumpkin spice flavored things. So I think it was all downhill from the beginning. But these, I wouldn't mind. I just don't know, like, if I would buy them again. But I think that's more of a personal thing. I think people actually like these. 
when they come back in season next December or this coming December, however way you want to phrase it. But yeah, I mean, there's not much else to it. There's not much that goes on in a Twinkie other than the cream and the cake itself. And I want to I wanted to like it more than what I did. I know you can uh, you could probably find these online. You won't find them in stores anymore because they're out of season. But I don't know. Like, I don't see like any reason to actually go and search for them and find them and buy them and try them because they taste like because you could probably make like cut, you know, they taste like the chocolate tastes like chocolate cupcakes or cake, of course. And then you could probably find some like mint frosting or mint type cream and it would taste exactly the same. And that's where I think it is. It's like it doesn't have its distinct flavor to it. And that's why I think it sort of like throws me off in terms of doing something new or doing something creative with in terms of the flavor or switching it up even just a little bit because like I think it's the flavor is just so common. Granted, it's like a good combination, but the flavor is so common. It's just like I, I try it and it's like I'm not impressed. I'm not wowed. I'm not surprised by it. So yeah. But if you like Twinkies, I'm pretty sure you'll like this one. So you know you could always pick them up when they go in season again this Christmas. And I think like overall, like if you don't want to do the hassle of like making your own chocolate cake and stuff like that. These would be a good substitute if you're really a fan of that chocolate and mint flavor combination when it comes to cake, cupcakes, and pastries and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for the review. It's a little bit shorter because there's not much to it. But other than that, if you like this uh, video, go ahead, give it a like, and stick around, subscribe. You know, I have other things I review that I'll probably taste and be really excited about. So yeah, other than that, this is Jeffrey with GOS Snacking and I am out.